Hey there, folks. Uh, it's time for me to catch you up on something that has been going on for a while now, which is that I have been getting um, facial hair removal treatments, uh, laser facial hair removal treatments in specific. Uh, this, I have wrapped up uh, at time of recording eight sessions of this. Um, I do have a ninth scheduled um, to sort of work on some of the more troublesome areas and I may need a tenth one after that, but I'll sort of get to that. Um, first, a little bit about this. It's not cheap. I actually uh, ended up running a GoFundMe. Um, so thank you in advance to anyone who contributed to that and ensured I was actually able to afford to do this. Um, I can't guarantee this will be the case at every um, place that offers laser, laser facial hair removal, but I imagine it would be the case in most of them, which is that booking all my sessions in advance got me a discounted rate versus what it would have cost me to book them, like have one, pay for it, book the next, pay for that when I got there, book the next, etc., etc., etc. This uh, worked out very differently. This was just a case of I paid for uh, my initial eight up front, uh, all at once, at a discounted rate, you know, with a commitment that I'd be coming back every month. And um, and now I am I am sort of doing month by month, but they are, um, because I've now become a regular, they are continuing to offer me the discounted rate, uh, even with booking additional ones, which is, uh, which is really lovely. I'm going to Bear Spa in Burlington, Vermont. Uh, so a shout out to them because I've had a wonderful experience there with multiple technicians. Uh, I suppose it's worth talking about why I decided on laser specifically. So when it comes to hair removal, um, there are two primary techniques. There is laser, which is what I got, and there is electrolysis, which is not what I got. There are a number of differences in the processes themselves. The core thing that is probably gonna be the main determining factor in what you get though, is what kind of hair they're effective on. Electrolysis is not effective on dark hair. It is effective on blonde, white, I think also red hair, but not brown, not black. It's not effective on dark hair, which despite the fact that I have started to go gray, um, most of my facial hair was. And honestly, that was also the point of concern for me. I had wondered uh, initially, like, do I have enough, you know, white hairs, which the laser won't get. The laser will do the dark hairs, but it's not going to do the light ones. Um, should I end up getting electrolysis to get these random white ones? I don't think I'm going to do that because, well, I, they are there and I do have to still shave them. It's strictly for the feel, like I'll feel them coming out and I'll deal with them then. But first of all, there aren't that many. Second of all, it's not the feel. <laughs> that was driving me nuts that I wanted to get rid of. It was the look. It was the it was the shadow of facial hair that I really wanted gone. And that is what laser was going to be better for, for me. Uh, comparatively, and understand I say this is someone who hasn't gone through electrolysis, as I understand it, electrolysis tends to be more painful and take longer, basically because the an electric shock is sent up directly through each individual hair. So they have to kind of go hair by hair, it takes longer and it's more painful. Now that's not to say that laser is pain free, but what it is, is pretty quick. Each session I went in for was five to 10 minutes. Actually, if I count only the session of getting zapped in the face with the laser, it was about five. And most of the rest of the time I would have been checking in, checking out. It's very, um, it's just very quick. So there is some pain, there is a heat, there is a sting when you get hit with it, especially in some areas that are a little more sensitive, like right there above the lip, that hurts a bit more. Right there does as well. Um, and the other thing that I wasn't necessarily prepared for is especially after your first session is the smell. You are gonna get the scent of burning hair directly up your nose. So be aware of that. That uh, definitely initially was probably more unpleasant than the actual sensation was. At this point, um, as I said, I've had eight sessions. I had four weeks between each session at first. Um, 
extending eventually to five weeks with the last two. And from the most recent one I've had to the next one I'm going to have, it's going to be six weeks, which is about the longest stretch of time you'll take because uh, six weeks being the standard growth cycle. So given the idea that we're basically trying to pick pick up stragglers in trouble spots at this point, six weeks make the, made the most sense. Give it, give whatever's left the most chance to come in. Um, so once you have gotten that treatment, you, uh, well, there's a couple of things. This is where actually continuing to wear a mask out as much as I do is very much to my benefit because you do not want to get sun, especially not sunburnt on anywhere you, where you've had this treatment. It will go very badly for you. So be prepared to, like I actually bought sun hats uh, even when I was on vacation uh, this past summer, when I went to uh, Provincetown on Cape Cod, I, I had to, you know, I had to be sure to get my head properly covered and and everything. Um, as I said, I bought sun hats and made use of um, uh, sunblock. Couldn't think of a word there for a second, or you know, just having a mask on. Uh, all of which helped initially for the first week maybe two uh, after getting it you should also avoid especially hot showers which is a pain for me because I like really hot showers but again you don't want to exacerbate what is frankly going to be somewhat angry skin your skin's not going to be happy with you uh short version it's not really going to be thrilled um so you don't want to take it off any more than you already have having had a laser shot at it uh repeatedly so when you get it done Oh, the other thing is um, I had to stop plucking, um, at least in the uh, in the lead up to uh, these things. So like I, I ended up using tweezers to clear out the hairs once they're dead. But I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. So normally what had been the case and what's been the case for a few years is that I don't really shave. I pluck. I might shave ahead of a show. Um, like a burlesque show or what have you, um, because I'm going to, you know, have the harsh lights and I want to get as smooth as possible. But day to day, I plucked with tweezers, hair by hair, which is not as exhausting as it sounds. It's most exhausting the first time you do it. But then the hair grows in slowly, slowly enough and patchily enough. You just get it as you spot it. Um, but I had to stop doing that. I had to go back to shaving, which initially wasn't great. I don't love shaving partially because it leaves that consistent shadow a lot more than plucking does. But um, sort of what happens is for about four days after you get it done, you, you really can't even shave, which is why if you follow some of my other stuff, um, particularly on the break room of geeks where I do more casual uh, review types of materials, um, you may have seen me on some days with much more visual stubble than I've had in years. And it was because that was usually uh, day uh, three or four after having gotten the laser where I wasn't, I couldn't shave yet, but I also needed to get stuff shot. Um, and what can happen uh, is that after you've gotten it, after you've gotten that treatment, the hairs that have been hit with the laser will kind of over the course of, I'd say four to six days, um, sort of come to the surface and actually be even more visible, but they also then just kind of fall out. And that's where I mentioned uh, using tweezers again, where I would just grab these hairs that like, and I wasn't even plucking them, I was just lifting them. They were effectively dead. They just needed to be sort of pulled out. Exfoliating uh, cream or any kind of exfoliating also helps get these things either off or help bring them to the surface. We're about to get uh, fairly unflattering here, but uh, if I bring it in pretty close, you should be able to see some of the dark hairs. Um, you should notice that they're fairly um, sporadic, fairly spread out. At the time that I'm recording this, I am, I've had five laser sessions at this point. Um, so what comes in comes in more slowly more patchily. Actually, at this point, we have, um, I was getting the treatments every four weeks. We've now moved them out to every five weeks because we want to be sure there's enough time for whatever's still hanging around to actually come back in and get hit um, properly with the laser. The reason I am, I'm doing this unflattering super zoom in on my dang face is to sort of illustrate um, 
the sort of what happens after they have been hit with the laser and they've had the chance to sort of try to come back in. And um, if you have, if, if the idea of hairs being pulled out with tweezers sort of you, um, then feel free to skip this bit. I'll put a time code right here, but this is just meant to be illustrative. Um, so let me just make sure that I can see what I'm doing. So if you see some of these dark hairs, hopefully you can see that. I don't know, but it just kind of plucks right off because, and honestly, if I just rub with a little vigor, some of them basically just, just pop out. It, it, they just come right out. Now, for comparison, you can still see some of the white hairs here. You can see the difference with those holding on versus the, uh, the dark ones, which just, that was nothing. It just, it just comes right off. Um, so, uh, first thing, you, it's actually not recommended <laughs> that you hit yourself up with tweezers, uh, anytime close to when you get a thing. This, this is, uh, about two weeks after I had been shot in the face. Cause um, you really, you really want to kind of take it easy. You want to avoid for a, as long as you can get away with, um, hot showers, avoid the sun, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, all that stuff that I've probably already talked about in the video. And I'm just reiterating cause I'm shooting this bit before <laughs> this the stuff you've already been watching. But, um, I, I just wanted to use the tweezers to sort of be illustrative of how, you know, you'll still see it come back in. Uh, after a treatment and like again this this degree of patchiness this degree of it just kind of falling out that is uh that is after a fifth treatment although it was starting to happen um a lot earlier but uh hopefully that um that makes it a little bit clearer what i've been talking about so um and the the amount that i've had to deal with after each session has been a little less so at at this point like Cheeks, it's basically completely gone. Chin's almost completely gone. There's like a little bit in the corners. And then the stubborn stuff right now is above the lip, uh, which is not surprising. Uh, there's a reason most uh, high school boys trying to grow facial hair get stuck with this wispy little mustache. It tends to come in there first and most, aggress and most aggressively there. So um, this, is, this is the stubborn stuff that I'm still working on. But I am very much seeing the results. As I said, there's virtually nothing on my cheeks anymore. And very, very little on my chin. I mean, I never really had a lot on my neck anyways, or like under the jawline. There wasn't much there anyways, but what little was there is pretty much gone. And... This is stuff that may require follow-ups later. That is one of the things about laser versus electrolysis. Electrolysis is like confirmed to be permanent. Uh, laser doesn't have the same backing on that front. And so eventually down the line, I may need, um, you know, kind of top-up treatments um, if and when the, the hairs start to rebound. But at this point, they've kind of been hammered into place uh, well enough and long enough and consistently enough that I shouldn't need to go through a full range of sessions like this again. Just uh, maybe the occasional um, little top-up session, little uh, little extra bit of coverage, and I don't know, every couple of years or so. And also keep in mind, if you're going to do this, another one of the reasons it's probably a good idea, if you can afford it, to book all your sessions at the very start is because you have to get these repeated sessions within four to six weeks of each other because after that, like it's just gonna it's just gonna come back strong enough that it's it's like you didn't even get the session. It's not really a case where you can get a session and then wait two months, three months between them and expect much results. You do have to get them regularly because it's not just hitting the hairs with the laser, it's hitting them repeatedly when they try and come back up. And it's only after an extended period of having done that that they stop. <laughs> and they do. As I said, not all of them yet, but even the, even the trouble ones, it's thinner than it used to be. I'm 
really happy with the results. And I've mentioned before this that I kind of stopped using foundation. And I had stopped using foundation because I was just fed up with it. But now I get to also be done with foundation because I don't really need it. The main reason I ever used it was to cover up this. And it's gone. Mostly. Almost. Soon. I'm personally very happy with the results I've had. And again, it is frustratingly expensive and I would not have been able to afford it without the GoFundMe page and without the help that I got there. So I am very privileged to have been able to do this. I do realize that. But if you're ever in a position to get it done and you have a hair, facial hair color that is appropriate to it. And in my case, I really got the part of why I, because I've been trying to save up for a while. Part of the reason I, I finally just went, I need to just do a GoFundMe was because the longer I waited, the higher a percentage of my facial hair was going to be white. Um, and you know, the less this was actually going to feel like it was accomplishing because, you know, I'm aging. <laughs> eh, beats the alternative, as my grandfather would say. But I'm very happy with the results. And I've been excited. I've been thinking about for months about sharing this experience and these results with you. So I hope you found this helpful, interesting, informative, entertaining, maybe? I don't know. But thank you in any case. And please remember that you are beautiful, you are valid, and you are loved. Take care.